Hi, uh, today's question is uh, how would artificial message RNA that is present here be read according to each of the following models of the genetic code? And we have five uh, choices. You may stop video here and choose your correct answer and then uh, compare with uh, my explanation. So let me first draw uh, message RNA that is present in our question and as you see in uh, RNA uh, unlike in uh, DNA instead of xymine uracil is present so uh, an, uh, answer A give us a model with two bases that is not overlapping and answer B give us uh, two bases but uh, overlapping and um, answer C give us uh, three bases that is not overlapping and uh, uh, answer D three bases that overlapping and uh, overlapping can be uh, let me show it on the here it can be like this or like this. So two overlapping possibilities but um, an uh, answer E for basis not overlapping. I wouldn't draw here not to give more mass to my picture and uh, you can imagine it yourself. So uh, actually the answer uh, is given in this uh, table that is product of uh, research of many scientists and uh, they made many experiments and determined uh, that uh, proteins are coded by uh, triplets uh, nucleotides uh, three bases uh, and one protein we have uh, 20 proteins and 20 proteins is coded by triplets but and I also have a uh, mathematical proof. For example, uh, let's for example imagine that we have uh, four bases and only um, one protein is coded by only two bases. So four bases rise at two, we have uh, 16 different variants and this is not enough because we have 20 proteins and 16 different variants with uh, duplets is not enough. So uh, next uh, is triplet and this gives us 64 different variants and this is um, seems like too many variants in order to um, code for 20 proteins but as you see on this table uh, uh, our code is actually degenerative for example if we take leucine you see that it's coded by three or uh, by four different variants and um, all these variants are different only with with a third position and this actually give us uh, so any uh, mutation at this position uh, um, would still code for the leucin so this is called silent mutation and this give extra stability to DNA as you see in, in this example, 30% of the mutation uh, wouldn't uh, lead to real uh, mutation, I mean new protein in, uh, in place of the leucine. So, um, as you see, nature has a protection of the genetic code that is so important uh, for the life. And I just want to cross out incorrect answers and correct answer today is C. So this is all for today. Thank you for attention. Please subscribe to my new videos that I post every week. Goodbye.